Okay, so let's set up our rebilling in the agency portal so that we can have our clients themselves buy a voice minute so that we don't have to buy them and divvy them out. And then also we can create subscriptions to upsell AI to clients we already have, as well as give them access to go ahead and buy voice minutes inside the platform. So let's go ahead and go over to the screen. Boom. And let's go to our workspace, our admin portal for the agency here. Okay. So we're here, let's go ahead and click on clients. All right, and then we go to rebuilding. Now, I don't have a Stripe account connected to here and you shouldn't yet either. So let's go ahead and register for one. And what we'll do is it's gonna pre-fill my email, it's gonna pre-fill my company name, and then all we need is a country. Now I'm from the US, so you'll never guess what I'll pick here, but all the rest of the countries are the ones that Stripe will allow us to connect to. If yours is there, great. If not, we go by Stripe's rules. So let's go ahead and create an account here. And it's going to create a marketplace account to our stuff. So what this is going to do is you can't import one that's already there. It's going to make us create one inside the platform here that connects to ours so that we can divvy out things like voice minutes, subscriptions, and things like that so that they can manage them inside the platform pretty easy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in some information here because it's gonna ask me for some, but we'll go through it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the email I have here. And it's gonna ask me for a phone number. I'm gonna go ahead and verify this. Okay, now it's gonna ask me some business information depending on what, uh, you know, what country you're from. The regulations, you know, they differ. It's, it's Stripe, it's financial regulation. And so we'll just kind of go through here. I have to fill in some personal information here because again, we're connecting here as a business. This is an income stream. So uh, I'm gonna fill in the information here and then we'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so I filled out some information about my business. It was things like my home address last four of social security, things like that. Uh, now it's gonna ask me to connect to a bank. This is where your payouts will go. So just connect whatever bank, business bank, you want your payouts to go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that here again off camera and then I'll meet you back when we're done with this. Okay, so I'm at the other screen. It has like my social security number and bank account information. So I probably won't show that, but after I uh, put in my address, uh, who I am and connected my bank, I just did Chase Bank. Um, it let me know I was uh, instantly eligible. It should give you some parameters there. or If you have some missing information, it should let you know. But I'm going to go ahead and click continue on there, which should bring us back to the portal. And I'll update you when that's done. Okay, so information submitted. And we're going back to the portal now. And boom, instant eligibility. If you do not get this, there will be another one that says there's some more information required from you. We'll send you back to Stripe and or you can just click this right here, which will send you to the Stripe dashboard for the connected account. It's the same way that school works with connected accounts or marketplace accounts. But now we're in here, uh, we have access to rebilling so that we can see things like monthly recurring revenue. We can see things like gross volume uh, and volume by day. We can see our product catalog and then our payment history here. All right, and then we could turn on rebilling here. I'm not gonna do that yet, uh, but let's go ahead and go to product catalog. And let's create, uh, let's create a subscription. So I'm gonna create three, just like your traditional SaaS would, where I'm gonna have, um, let's say starter, where my plan will be zero. And I'm not gonna do a free trial for this, and I'm not gonna charge per message, but I am gonna do uh, something to the effect of, let's do price per minute of, 20 cents per minute. And we could even see there uh, that seven cents per minute is the cost that comes in that, so we're making a spread of 13 cents a minute. We can enable features here based on the subscription, right? So I can turn off, you know, for example, this starter, you can't see performance, you can't see widgets, you can't see voice, you just get chat knowledge. I think I'm just gonna allow all, but you can actually manage access through here. 
Let's go to the next one and we'll say number of assistants is five. I can do unlimited if I want to, or I can do unlimited messages, whatever I want to do here, uh, maximum number of calling, whatever they need here, right? So let's go ahead and go through here. We get a snapshot of what this plan looks like and I'm gonna go ahead and create this plan. All right, so that one's active and there's kind of two aspects to rebilling. You have turning it on, which turns on rebilling, kind of like a global on off. And then you have active and non-active plans and you can kind of see that here uh, where it's inactive, it's not active. Uh, there we go. So I'm gonna do starter, I'm gonna do like a growth, and then I'm gonna do uh, like an enterprise. So let's go here, let's do growth, where this one's gonna be 197 a month. We're not gonna charge per message, but this one's gonna get slightly better voice pricing. So they're gonna get 12 cents a minute, access to everything, and they're gonna get unlimited everything. It's just better price per minute. Then I'm gonna do enterprise. Which is going to be, let's do 397, where they get the best price possible that we'll give them, which is nine cents per minute. You know, again, our base price is seven cents a minute, which is taken out automatically for you. So you'll make a spread of two cents per minute on here, but you'll be making a monthly recurring revenue of 397 from the sub account. We're going to enable this, unlimited all here, and then we get a snapshot. Great, perfect. So we have three active plans and again we can turn these on and off we have no payments yet nothing's gone through and then we have rebilling turned off globally so if i go into my sub account here right so i just kind of click off here and so you can kind of see what it looks like live all right so i'm going to turn Rebilling on rebilling is now active my stripe account is good to go we've set that up i've created three plans at three different price tiers here, uh, each with their own, uh, you can see this one's two cents margin per minute, this one's 13 cents margin per minute, uh, each with their own configurations and everything else in the entire world. And now when I click in here into my sub account, which is my client account, uh, with rebuilding on, it'll prompt them to say, let's get started with your account. And you say, well, why are they doing this? They already had to log in or they, you know, we've already created the account. And so that we can create a customer ID on behalf of them so that they can, you know, make payments in the platform. The same way you had to sign up for a seller, this is their way of signing up for a customer. It's just a tad, a tad easier for them than it is for us. So we'll go ahead and we'll be the client here and we'll fill out our info. We'll save that. This is gonna give them a customer ID. And now we see all of our plans here. Very fun, right? Uh, if we go back here to our workspace, we can see that uh, because these things are here, right? Um, because we have these different plans and they're active, so we have rebilling turned on, right? And when it's when it's turned off, they don't see this, not a big issue, right? Uh, if we turn one off so it's not active, we can see that we can manage it by that, right? Boom. Easy enough. And those plans are laid out for them here. And they can even see, hey, we get so odd messages. We get <clears throat> some odd price per minute, whatever it is there, right? So easy enough on those things here. So we're going to go ahead and let's pay for one in the sub account there and you'll get to see the transactions happening and then the limits change within the sub account. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick a subscription here. I think I'll go with growth. So it's gonna process, it's gonna create the customer ID, the transaction, everything in here, and you'll begin to see that populate in the different ones along with the status. So we'll let this load and we'll even see here a payment that's uncaptured. So a subscription that started, and then boom, I'm gonna fill this out, I'm gonna pay, and then you'll get to kind of see that <laughs> happening live. Let me put my info in. So now we're processing the transaction. You see they're brought back to the portal, we process it, and they're good to go. Their limits are set based on their plan. So if we go here to billing now, you know how before it said something to the effect of like, you know, you're all set, no need for billing. 
now they'll see their plan, what the name of the plan is, the cost, its status, and their volume that they've paid along with the transaction here. And you'll see the same thing on your side. Easy enough, right? And now, because this person has an active plan, they have a customer ID, they have a card saved, they can buy voice minutes. And so we see now, as a sub-account, we have zero minutes, right? And as an agency, we haven't divvied out any minutes to them. We can go here and we could say, get voice minutes. And you see it, it defaults to the 12 cents per minute that is on our pricing plan that we set for this account here. You see that here. And then they can come in here, they can buy however many minutes they need. Let's go ahead and let's buy just 300 minutes here. So we're gonna click buy. So it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna send them to a Stripe portal. You'll see the transaction pop up here, $36. 300 minutes at 12 cents, it's uncaptured. So nothing's happened yet. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put in my info and we're gonna go back. All right, payment complete. We're brought back to the portal. All right, processing our transaction, making sure everything's good to go. And then once that's done, we're now credited with 300 minutes. And as a sub account, we can see that transaction there, 300 minutes at 12 cents per minute. You can see our volume has increased along with our monthly subscription. And we can even see that here as the agency rebilling them. And we can see our gross volume here, which is 233. Right, 197 plus 36. Fun stuff. And then now the sub account is fully self sufficient, right? Where we have messages uh, set by the subscription that we put in. We have minutes here uh, that we bought ourselves as a sub account. Easy enough. And if we need more, we can just come in here and buy more, whatever we need here, right? And as that work as, as the transaction is whatever price you set, so say the 12. When that transaction goes through because of the marketplace integration, we just take the seven cents out and then you get the spread and that's deposited into your Stripe client account. Super fun. All right, so we can see our gross volume there. We can see our monthly recurring revenue. And then if we even go to our clients here, we can see that they're on the growth plan at a 197 MRR with 300 minutes. How fun is that? Super easy, right? We can have hands-off client management, and we can even, because they're on our growth plan, remember we set what they could and could not see, right? So as an example, if I go here and I edit this to where I can't see voice AI and there's no widgets in this plan, right? It's the middle plan. You don't get, you don't get access to the fun stuff quite yet, right? And we do this. We notice that as the client with this plan, we don't get access to voice deployment, which is numbers. You know, right? like we can create the assistants which have voice capabilities, but we can't do anything if we don't have a number for it. Um, and so, depending on your parameters that you set here in the subscription, the pricing plan is the parameters of which they have access to, so that you can set different pricing plans for access, or if you just don't want to do a free plan and have them pay for their own voice minutes. All fair game here too. That's all trackable through the payments here. We can see who it was, what sub account is involved in the transaction. We can even see some metadata associated with it there. No big deal. We can see our product catalog. We can see our client is on that growth MRR. And then we could even see our gross volume there. Pretty fun, right? I thought I'd pop over to the, the Stripe Express dashboard. So this is just the Stripe dashboard here, which brings you over like actually into Stripe. And we can see our total earnings from that uh, based on the actual like, you know, voice minutes and everything like that. We can see our payouts here, our total earnings of $208 from those transactions of our sub accounts. You can see things like plans are not really touched, small transaction fee, and then things like minutes are fully divvied out based on the seven cents per minute. That fee is automatically brought out, which is the seven cents per minute. And then you get what is left, the net of uh, the spread, right, of the voice minutes themselves. And we can see we've already made $208 from this client based on the gross volume of 233 Super, super fun. 
And if we want to turn this off, we can just turn off rebilling globally, or if we want to turn off a specific plan, we can turn these off and they're good to go. They'll go under the inactive. We don't have any active uh, and easy enough, right? And so I just want to show this with like a free plan. So if you have clients where you just want them to be able to buy their own voice minutes, you can set a free plan in the rebuilding. So I have this free plan here, the starter, which still has the voice minute spread on there, right? And what I did is I just went into another sub account. Again, just from the first video, clicked on the custom menu, like it created the account, connected to high level automatically. Again, if you do those steps, you never have to worry about that again. I promise, 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 do those steps to the T. You never have to touch it again, super automated, you see how automated. And what I did was I created this free plan here. And then from the free plan, you know, they're able to put this in here. I'll go ahead and put all my info in here under a different name. And then they'll be able to have this free plan, but still buy voice minutes. Okay, and we're just returning from that free payment there, processing the transaction. We're good to go here. Great, so now we have a plan we can see here zero dollars for the starter plan all good to go but now we can still buy voice minutes at 20 cents per minute because it's the lowest plan right super fun easy stuff that's how we handle rebilling here you can even see it in your volume you can see who it's associated with what sub account uh, all the fun stuff so that is how rebilling is set up and that is how rebilling works just connect to a stripe marketplace or a stripe express account is what it is uh, you create one, make sure everything's good to go. If you have instant eligibility, you'll get access immediately. Uh, but if you need some sort of, uh, you know, other other requirements before putting it out, um, it'll ask you to go back and do those things. And then you could start to create plans, pricing plans, and you can manage all of your payments in here and your sub accounts can do it autonomously. The only thing I'll note, and you may want to test this depending on browser and things like that, we are an iframe, um, which is very limiting in some aspects, especially if your client uses an older computer or something with uh, an ad blocker or cookies and cash, because it's basically reading us as like, uh, like this foreign website within a website, right? Like it's not understanding what it is, which may cause issues. If you need to do something like that, you can always go into your clients here, send them this link. You can have your white label domain. This is where that comes in handy. You can send them this and they can do it just in the browser, which makes things just a little bit easier and you don't have to deal with all that iframe data. But if you haven't had a problem with it in the past, you should be good to go. We also keep track of all transactions and everything. So if we need to figure it out, we'll figure it out. No big deal. Okay. So the only, I think, thing other than that with rebilling is we have a strict um, uh, no dispute policy, you know, platform wide for ourselves and for everybody else. Uh, we found that even on, on our use case, like we don't touch billing, right? We're very, very hands off on billing. And so if you paid for something, it's literally because you have pulled out your credit card and paid for it. So we have a tough dispute policy that transfers over to this too. If you have a client that's going to dispute or anything like that, there is automations um, in the back end where if you're rebilling a client, they dispute their account will be put on lock, all their information will be put on lock, and it'll be under review. So we have those safeties in place for you there too, that if you have a client that's belligerent, whatever, uh, and that's disputing you, obviously we're the platform that that's put onto, and those accounts will be shut down immediately and put into review, and you should be good there. All that said, there's your rebilling, super, super easy. If you wanna turn it off, just turn it off. If you don't want these to show, don't let them show, just make them inactive. And then if you want something just to have free there, to have voice minute billing, things like that set up, just create a free plan. Make it super, super easy. All right, hope that's helpful.